Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to check your previous Skill Select invitation rounds for Australia directly from the Skill Select dashboard. Checking previous invitation round can give you an idea of your target point and give you a hint on the wait time. So let's dive in. First, you need to go to the Skill Select website. Simply open your browser and type in Skill Select or use the link provided in the description box below. Once you are on the Skill Select homepage, you'll see various options. The Invitation Rounds tab will take you to a page where you can see the details of the most recent invitation round. But what if you want to check the previous rounds? Look for the Previous Rounds section. Here, you'll see a list of all the previous rounds with their respective dates. Click on any of the previous rounds to get information of that round. For example, if you click on the round from 18 December 2023, you will see the number of invitations issued, the minimum point score and the occupations invited. But in order to find more detailed information about your specific occupation, click on Skill Select Dashboard. Here, you will find detailed breakdown of invitations by month and year, visa type and EOI status. You can also add additional filters such as Occupation Group, Point, Nominated State and other options shown on the screen. This information can help you understand the trends and set realistic expectations for your own EOI. Now, I'll walk you through one of the scenarios and you can use the same steps to look for your own specific occupation to check the number of invitations issued for each occupation and the points score for the last invited applicant in each occupation group. I'll select the latest invitation round, that is June 2024. And now, I'll choose the visa type, subclass 190, which is a permanent visa but requires nomination by an Australian state or territory, subclass 189. This is also a permanent visa that does not require any sponsorship and subclass 491 is a provisional visa that requires either state or family sponsorship and has pathway to permanent residency. As you can see that you can add multiple visa types from the list. Next, since I'm only interested in finding out the information of invited applicant, I'll select invited from the EOI status filter. Now I want to know which occupation groups were invited at how many points and which states nominated these invited applicants. However, the system allows me to add only two columns and so I'll have to access this information in two parts. Firstly, I'll add occupation and points to the list. Click on next to see the results. It takes few seconds for the system to load the results. You can see on the screen different occupation along with respective code that were invited under subclass 189, 190 and 491 in June 2024. You can also see the points and number of invitations that were issued to the respective occupation. This information will provide you a realistic picture for your own EOI. Let's analyze the results further. Let's assume you are a software engineer looking to move to Australia on permanent basis. We can filter software engineer from the occupation group. Now let's analyze the breakdown under this category for different visa types. Software engineers having 70 to 120 points were invited last month under the points tested stream with maximum number of invitations issued to applicants having 100 points. So if you are a software engineer, you should be targeting together 100 points for good chances of getting the invitation without needing any state nomination. For subclass 190, different states invited applicants within the point range of 75 to 115 points. To check which states invited these applicants, we will have to go back and add state nomination in the filter list because remember, the system doesn't allow us to add more than two result filter. Before we do that, let's have a quick look at subclass 491. Applicants having 85 to 115 points were invited in this visa category. However, in this category, you will get 15 extra points per state nomination. Therefore, you need to score only 70 points of your own to be able to get the invitation. 
To check how to calculate your points, please refer to my detailed video on point calculation for which I'll drop the link in the description box below. Before we move forward, I'll request you to subscribe to my channel and give the video a thumbs up if you like the content. Moving forward, let's now check the states you should be targeting for subclass 190 and 491. Now since states sponsor applicants only in 190 and 491 categories, let's select these subclasses for further analysis. Now go back to change the filter. Select nominated state and deselect occupation from the list. Click on next. Now you can see the list of states who nominate software engineers along with points. You should be targeting these states for submitting your application. You can further drill down the number of positions available under each state to set your goal. State-wise nomination allocation for the year 2024-2025 are shown on the screen. Nomination allocations are the number of new primary applicants each state or territory can nominate in a program year. By following these steps, you can easily check previous skill select invitation rounds and use that data to improve your chances of getting an invitation. Best of luck with your immigration journey. If you found this video helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon so you never miss 